Our concrete proposal as the EFF is that additional to playing a leading role in different international forums such as PAP, SADC, and Interparliamentary Union, the seventh parliament must play a leading role in the BRICS Parliamentary Forum and make sure that its engagements and meetings take place from time to time. This is to provide adequate oversight of the developments in light of the changing and dynamic global balance of forces. Yet, it is a fact that this GNU, the government of Dunoyan, which was formed by the white capitalist establishment, hoped to bring everybody into a signed alliance with the national executive, thus extinguishing the opposition. It seeks to mask the contradictions of race and gender that the ruling elite has failed to resolve since the dawn of our democratic society. It sought to silence the voices of the oppressed on the urgent need for land and economic freedom in our lifetime. The decision by MK, EFF, ATM, NCC, and UAT in particular to resist and stay in the opposition benches is not only revolutionary. It is the best act in the defense of the Constitution and its finding value of a multi-party system of democracy. Our constitutional duty as parliament is not to aid the executive or protect it or advance its interest. For 30 years, one single party has dominated these benches using its majority to undermine scrutiny on the executive and accountability. The tyranny of the majority was seen in action recently in the suppression of the Palapala impeachment, where the sitting president must come and answer about the reported abuses of power and possible human rights violations. Chair, today, this tyranny is continuing in the form of GNU. Many in GNU ranks have attempted to demonize those who chose to stay out of the government of Dinoyan, seeking to paint them as divisive and unconstitutional. But this band of semi-illiterates, ex-convicts, and waffling careerists know nothing about the Constitution, particularly its founding ideological arsenal. They don't see that the Progressive Caucus is the best development in strengthening parliamentary oversight. We must state categorically clear that to criticize the executive is a constitutional duty. The GNU, which commands close to 70% of the House, wants to operate without criticism. They want a situation in which they are the executive and the oversight, eliminating opposition, what a crying shame. They were already using the against our majority to force committees to adopt APPs and budget of departments without scrutiny, in a process of prioritizing the executive and using parliament as a, as a mere rubber stamp. We have scored few victories as the Progressive Caucus on the new rules on speaking and sitting arrangements, as well as definitions of majority and opposition. We will still fight to integrate it in the rules that parliament committees must be chaired by members Honourable whose political member, parties your time are not represented in the executive. Chair, we must reiterate that the people of South Africa shall, be, shall govern. Honourable the voices member, of the people of South Africa shall be expired. heard. We will not be suppressed here in this parliament. Thank you.